But first, despite decades as a boom town, Swindon has now been described as the worst place in the country for employing apprentices. The town's main college is pleading with businesses to take on students who train on the job because many can't get into university. The government has stepped in too with some cash rewards. Scott Ellis reports. A typical classroom here at Swindon College where you can learn a trade. This is obviously to do with house building here. And there's no shortage of facilities here. There's no shortage of students wanting to learn. The problem is a shortage of employers willing to take on apprentices so they can learn a trade. This hair salon does take on apprentices. They work hands-on four days a week here and spend the fifth day back at Swindon College. So there's money, training and a job. But with a shortage of apprenticeships, not everyone's as lucky as these students. There isn't enough out there. There's not a lot of jobs taken on apprentices in all the different companies around. There's just nothing out there at the moment. We need more companies to employ them as apprentices. Swindon's lacking at least 300 apprentice places, so the town's striking a government-backed deal with firms. On offer is £1,000 per apprentice, and a chance to try out a student for a month. When the employer actually sees the benefits of the youngster, what they're capable of doing, how they can actually add advantage to their workplace, um, we found them to be very, very successful and normally leads on to an apprenticeship. They hope it works, overcoming fears by managers that an apprentice can be an extra cost. At the salon, they've always seen them as an investment. We would say probably 80% of our youngsters, we have um, 20 at the moment, um, people working for us, that 80% have been trained by us and are still with us. Right. So, <laughs> have been for 28 years, some of them. Without more apprenticeships, there are fears of what's been called a lost generation, heading out of school now into a world of fewer university places and a tougher jobs market. Scott Ellis, BBC Points West. Swindon. New CCT